Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the latest stable version of the Microsoft Edge web browser, version 97, has now started rolling out. And this is also the first version update for the year of 2022. And this latest release started rolling out on the 6th of January 2022. Now, in this latest release, there are a couple of uh, fixes and improvements and a lot of policy updates uh, to version 97 as well and in this video I will just quickly go through some of the key feature updates that are related to version 97 and then also just look at some of those security updates as well. Now the first feature update in version 97 is now that you can use the current profile to sign into websites um, when multiple work or school accounts are signed in on a device. Now to get to this setting, we just head to the top right to our menu, click on settings and profiles and yeah, you will see profile preferences and you will see uh, allow sign on for work or school sites using this profile. And when this is toggled on, which it is by default, and you can also toggle this off if you don't want to use the feature, it says if the setting is on, you'll be able to access work or school sites on this device using this profile. If this setting is off, you'll need to switch to your work or school account profile to use single sign-on. So that's just a nice little handy feature now um, uh, regarding using your current account in both those work or school uh, accounts and profiles. And then there's also now been added support for Microsoft Endpoint Data Loss Prevention, DLP for short. And then that's if you are using Microsoft Edge on Mac OS. And basically your DLP, your data loss prevention uh, policy enforcement will be available natively now on Mac OS. And then a feature that's on a controlled rollout, and unfortunately I can't show you because I'm not seeing the feature, so um, I'm not part of that controlled rollout. But now you can upgrade navigations from HTTP to HTTPS on, dom on domains likely to support those more secure protocols. So that basically means you are now getting automatic HTTPS, which is a, a more secure connection. And that's on a controlled rollout. And then also now you have the use of legacy web SQL feature, and that will now be blocked from third party frames. And this is a policy which is available as an opt-out option until uh, Microsoft Edge version 101. And this apparently is happening for all Chromium-based web browsers now, uh, which Microsoft Edge is based on. Now, basically, um, your Web SQL database is just an outdated standard, which now obviously, with the increase of those version numbers now, is getting a bit outdated. So all the Chromium browsers now are basically deprecating that feature in those Chromium based web browsers. And then a feature that rolled out in version 95, um, which is citation support in Microsoft Edge, which is used basically for citing sources for research, which is very handy for um, students. And just to recap quickly, if you just go to collections and you've saved something in your collections, you click on the three dotted menu, you will see uh, show citations and you get those different citations, APA 7, Chicago, Harvard, R, E, 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 M, L, A. And um, you can turn this on from your uh, collections, as I've shown you, or another uh, option is just to head to your menu, more tools, and you can go cite this, and it'll just pop the little preview pane and pin it to your desktop. And basically, this automatically generates citations that students can use um, at a later stage. And this actually rolled out, the citation feature actually rolled out in version 95, but there's just been a, a couple of improvements in version 97 now. And then the last key feature to mention is Control Flow Guard CFG for short, where Microsoft says now that Edge will start supporting more fine-grained protection by combating memory corruption vulnerabilities and by protecting indirect calls. And this CFG uh, control flow guard uh, is only supported um, in Windows 
uh, version 8 and later. And basically what Control Flow Guard does is it places tighter restrictions on where an application can execute code from and it also makes it much harder for exploits to execute arbitrary code through vulnerabilities such as buffer overflow. So it's just a nice little security feature now that's been added and upgraded in version 97. Now if we just head over quickly to the Microsoft Edge release notes for the stable channel which is version 97 now and I have uh, mentioned most of the key feature updates for you and then you get all your policy updates which are all the improvements that have rolled out in version 97 and as you can see there are numerous policy updates to mention to um, uh, too many to mention in this video so I will leave a link down below uh, to these policy updates on this web uh, page in Microsoft Docs if you are interested. And then of course we get to those all important stable channel security updates which are um, basically incorporated from the latest security updates of the Chromium project. And if we just head over to that security update guard, um, I have counted 29 Chromium based uh, security updates to Microsoft Edge version 97. So this is an important security update to the browser and four of those are rated as, as important. So you've got important elevation of privilege and if we scroll down three more here, elevation of privilege, remote code execution and another remote code execution. So to, out of those 29 security updates now uh, and fixes in version 97, four of those are important so it's you know it's important to check that your browser is up to date especially from the security side of things so to do this as always as many of you know by now we just head up to the menu help and feedback about Microsoft Edge and the latest version now that you should be on is 97.0.1072.55 that's the latest version and build now that will carry those uh, new feature updates, all those uh, important policy improvements, and then of course those all important 29 security fixes to the browser. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.